you've never seen me before hi my name is yuki and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back hey guys welcome to another video of mine hello ow i'm stepping out of my comfort zone when it comes to content this year so i figured why not start off small here here we are in today's video i'm gonna be doing a i guess you can call it a valentine's date night get ready with me i'm gonna be doing my makeup my hair hair not really much of my hair because the wig i wanted to use i've been procrastinating on plucking the frontal so here we are um the hairstyling is just gonna be very basic just straighten it out the wig you know the deal and also gonna be uh wearing an outfit on camera like First off, let's start off with the makeup. My lips are crusty. I need to put on my skincare stuffs and things. I'm gonna start off with this lip scrub I got a while back from LA Girl. I've been slacking on my hydration today, so my lips are not in the best condition. Oh, okay, well, it's, it's getting everywhere. Ooh, we are very ashy around the mouth. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my skincare, come back and we will do the rest of the face. All right, I'm back. I changed because I don't know, I changed my mind. I'm gonna go ahead and use this Laura Mercier Hydrating Foundation Primer. I have in mind what I wanna do, to be honest, because when I think of Valentine's Day, I do think of a specific look. It's pretty much similar to the same look I think of whenever I think of a holiday look. So, you know, just a little shang shang, you feel me? Just a little shang shang, a little shang shang. My brows are gonna be the exact same thing you guys are used to me doing. So what are you guys' plans for Valentine's Day? My plans involve my couch or my bed, whichever one I'm, you know, feeling like entertaining that day. And some movies, most likely. Maybe I'll catch up on Power, we'll see. For foundation, I'm gonna be using my Oma Beauty Say What? I just like saying it like that. Say what? Um, I don't forgot what the name, okay, Weightless Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. Yeah, Oma Beauty, say what? Weightless Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. And because this thing is so liquidy, I'm just gonna squeeze it on my actual face because, yeah, it, it'd be drippity drip dropping. Drippity drip drop, drip drop, drop, drop. And then just use the rest of whatever's left on the brush to go over the forehead area. It just looks more natural this way, I've noticed. So that's why I started doing my foundation this way, where I really don't apply any of it to my forehead. No foundation drop is left behind, okay? I've got some discoloration around my mouth, so I don't mind putting a little bit of extra there. My Black Opal Flawless Concealer in the shade Honey. I, I think this is the one item I've probably been using for the entire length of my YouTube career. This is the one item that has stayed consistently throughout. It's kind of weird. ColourPop sent me this box. Thank you, ColourPop. They actually, it's like, it's like a, a whole Valentine's Day situation. Um, there's a palette in here, which I'd love to test out in this video. They also sent me their Soul line. Soul, Soul, Soul. Face and body highlighter. We've got the shimmering dry oil. That should be fun. Glitterly obsessed. These are mini trio body glitters, it looks like. So not for the eyes. We've also got these mini just a tint set. A cream gel color. I think this is just like regular old black. Actually, it might not be black. It might be like a dark gray. They sent me this liquid liner in, I think this is numero uno. See, si. numero uno. I think it's just black, right? It should be. I don't wanna, here, yeah. And it's just black. Ooh, that's, that's black, black. All right, I'm gonna use that in this video. <laughs> you ain't gotta tell me twice. And then we've got the cream gel liner in the shade Hustler. Yeah, see, I, yeah, I don't think that other one was black. So this is just, I guess maybe the tight line or whatever. So I just swatched this on a little paper towel next to me because I want to put it on the back of my hand. But it's like a shimmery darker gray. And then, to my surprise, I did not know ColourPop actually had lashes. They've got this Falsies Faux Lashes in the style Bay. These might actually be a vibe for today. Wait a minute. I love wispy, flirty looking lashes. So I'm gonna use that. I don't know about the dry oil, to be honest. The outfit I have in mind is, it's a little bit, you know, like, Decolletage, that's not the word, Decollete. Oh, this is pretty. I don't know what it's gonna look like on me, but girl, 
It's really pretty. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at that. Okay, I thought because of the reflex it was gonna have me looking crazy, but boy, ooh, ooh and she smelled good. Okay, wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. wait. This smells like a black woman. <laughs> I mean that in the most complimentary way. Okay, no, no, it doesn't. It, it, Cause it almost smelled like a black hair product. <laughs> Don't come for me, please. I am a black woman, just in case you didn't notice. <laughs> Oh, it smells good. Oh, it's quite intimidating what it looks like in the bottle, but trust me, it's it's it seems to be legit. Let me just let me just let's just do that because I don't want to get up to go get like a paper towel to damp it up and and anybody got time for that? Because you know a lot of like black hair care products they have a specific smell. It's a good smell, but you'll know like oh this is what I'm smelling is not this person's like perfume or lotion. It's probably their hair product. I can't stop smelling it. Okay, but look how, baby, I'm in there like swimwear. Okay, let's continue with this uh, beat real quick. Oh, we didn't even, oh, I didn't even show you guys the highlight. Stuff that's this big really intimidates me. Baby girl. <laughs> A lucky follower of mine on Instagram is gonna be very happy. <laughs> so this is the All That Pressed Powder Palette and bloop. And bloop. This is definitely Valentine's Day friendly. Um, I feel like a lot of people tend to kind of gravitate towards these colors for the most part. You have everything you need for a daytime rosy type of show. And then if you wanna, I don't know, put black glittery stuff on your eyelids for later, you can do that. <laughs> Uncensored right here. Period poop. About to just, I can tell this is a pressed glitter, but okay. I, okay, okay, that was a weak swatch. But you can see, ah, uh, no you can't. Maybe you can. No you can't. Maybe you can't. It's rose gold. It, is it rose gold? It's, yeah, it's, it's rose gold with pink. Hits of pink. Today's not supposed to be glitter. It's just supposed to be a basic matte eye. <laughs> I have glitter all over myself anyway from the shimmering body oil, so. Love that for me. I'm gonna apply my concealer and do the crossover, crossover, do the take it up top method instead of putting on a primer and all of that stuff because yeah. I still have not finished this concealer so I'm gonna just start using it in videos again until it's all done. And I actually like to go back and forth from one side to the other. I feel like I get better coverage that way and a better blend as opposed to doing one under eye area and then moving on to the other. Take it up top, take it up top, take it up top to the eyelid space. Well, right now I'll be using my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And I'm just gonna pat this right under here. And this whole brush thing is really just another technique I like to use every now and then to set my under eye. Oh, I just like to switch things up a little bit, you get me? Let's use some of these colors we got here. My eye automatically went to this this one because yeah you know the deal this is the shade please me hmm. 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 that's all I have to say <laughs> I don't know what kind of look we're gonna go for oh. but uh, we're just we're just gonna go with the flow remember that this um, concealer on the eyes has not been set okay oh okay 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 yes honey had it on at a slanted angle here and then very lightly use circular motions and bring it inward. Blend out the edges. See, I wanted to do a red lip with this and a red lip with all that's about to be going on with the eyes right now is, ah! Cause whenever I think of a Valentine's day look or a date night look, whatever, Valentine's date night in particular, I think of a red lipstick. That's just what my mind automatically goes to. I'm gonna go in with this one called Wink Wink and just lightly place that pretty much near the brow bone, just on the edge of where the previous color went. I think I'm gonna take the shade Infatuation. I don't know, it seems less chunky than Uncensored though. I don't wanna say copper per se, like a rose gold copper kind of vibe. I'm gonna spray my brush so it applies well. Oh, I kinda like that bit of a peekaboo effect. I really did not wanna do glitter, but 
here we are here we freaking are okay i kind of i kind of like i kind of like this like scattered effect that's going on here it's not super duper precise and all packed in one spot i think that's perfect for this kind of look i'm gonna use some packing motions just to get a little bit more product on the eye if you want to use less you can just continue to swipe that'll give you less product placement for the inner corner there's a shade here called risque i don't know how i really feel about it it's this one right here let me just pop it on so y'all can see yeah um not really a fan not really a fan i'm gonna take off some of the excess product and then just blend it up a bit so it's not so harsh right there even though i actually really like a um harsh inner corner highlight over top of it i'm gonna place the other shade i was like crazy about uncensored let's just ooh, 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 ooh. i'll be like oh no it's gonna be a simple eye it's gonna be just straightforward it's very like everyday kind of look and then we put glitter on it and before you know it my face is covered in glitter sparkles and pretty much diamond dust this is a pretty cool palette um yeah i'm not mad at it i'm not mad at it unfortunately these top nah not gonna use them so that's that on that but for the most part nice palette okay let's go ahead and move on to liner let's yeah let's use this color pop liquid liner that i got i usually like felt tip liners but it feels like this one is a tad coarse uh you know this liquid liner could be darker that's one thing i have to say and I don't really care for the material that the felt tip is made out of. It's quite coarse compared to other felt tip liners I've used. You already know what bronzer I'm gonna use. Ever since I discovered this bronzer, actually ever since I started using bronzer, I've stopped contouring. I just feel like it's not necessary because I tend to place my bronzer in places where I would normally contour anyway so it's like what's the point that's the prime beauty um bronzeville bronzer by the way i'm gonna try this ofra blush in the shade cosmo i've had it and just it's been sitting there in my stash so i decided to use it it's very hot pink you can't see it because you know lighting or whatever but maybe there you can kind of see it i literally just put one dab on there i don't want to do too much okay yeah you can definitely see it right there it's pretty though. Let's start back here and take the blush up a tad bit. I feel like it just kind of helps things marry a little bit better. I feel accomplished because I feel like a professional when my brush is just... You ever feel like you just, you, you're just in the zone, your wrist is just flicking and just ah, and the brush is moving and things are blending and life is good. I'm going to spray my Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. This is the only setting spray I have right now, so it's like, ugh. Okay, this was supposed to be a date night look and now I wanna put white liner in my waterline. I, it's not very date night-ish, but I just wanna do it. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk around like this all day. <laughs> Soft glam who? We don't know her. All we know is hard glam. <laughs> Extra AF glam, that's all we know. I'm gonna use this Clinique High Impact Mascara that I got. I don't know whether I should put some shadow on the lower lash line or not. Well, I'm reaching for it anyway, so too late. I'm gonna dip into Please Me. Why? I'm using a concealer brush, I don't know. Because my name is Yuki and I defy the odds. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> working with a little song song you feel me a little song song and i'm just tracing this along the lower lash line I'm alternating between stamping and swiping i don't want to swipe too much because that will promote fallout definitely y'all it looks like my dreams of a red lipstick with this look <laughs> is not gonna happen it, there's just too much going on on the eyes look at me sounding as if i didn't have full control over where this there where this went but I just, I just let the spirit lead, you know? I, I allow the spirit to lead in the direction of creativity and artistic manifestation of the eye look, the entire face. You know, you just gotta, you gotta let go. You have to yield. All right, I'm doing a lot right now. Now, we need to pick a highlighter. And I think I know the right one. Yes, I do. <laughs> Such 
nyama Hingo nyama nengwe na mabala Hingo nyama nengwe na mabala Hingo nyama nengwe It's the circle of life Hala magma fia hale I deeply apologize for any trauma I may have caused <laughs> throughout the course of this video. <laughs> this is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder Glow. This is the medium deep. I think I want to put on my wig now. Hold on. Obviously, we need to straighten this out <laughs> ASAP. No Rocky. Is it whole? quite hot now. I've noticed ever since my teeth have gotten obviously like straightened or more straight from the Invisalign, there are some ugly faces I used to make like purposefully and they just don't hit the same anymore now that my teeth are straighter. I'm not 100%, like I'm not done yet. I think I'm about halfway. My ugly faces don't hit the same no more. They're not as ugly. <laughs> I can't even find my other, my other brush to be honest. So I'm just using this a random one I got from Forever 21. Speaking of Forever 21, is anyone else incredibly shocked that they're closing down or have closed down, I believe? I think they've closed down now. Here in Houston, apparently, not apparently, it's documented. It's like, it's in a news article somewhere. You'll be able to find it. We have this huge mall called the Galleria and it's super fancy, super nice. You've got a ton of luxury stores in there, but also like, you know, your regular everyday, stores and brands or whatever. I think we have Zara. I don't know. I don't shop enough to be knowing all this, especially there because it gets so crowded. And there's a Forever 21 store here that we have in Houston or had, and they posted a whole entire notice, the Galleria Mall, the actual mall, posted a notice outside of the Forever 21 stating like, hey, you guys owe lots of rent. You're way, 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 way back on the rent. And um, it amounted to, I think, $145,000 that they were owing in rent to the Galleria Mall. And I was freaking shocked. I'm like, what is happening? I know a lot of brick and mortar stores are closing in general, but you know, and to be honest, I, I can't even really say I feel for Forever 21 like that, like that, because I was never really a huge, huge fan. How many times did I shop at Forever 21? And out of those times, most of them were like online because I never really found stuff that I felt, you know, was for me. But I was just so shocked. Like, dang, you would never think a brand that everybody was once so crazy about, they just up and out in. Out and up in. I mean, I didn't get every single strand, but you can't see every single strand. So, work smarter, no harder. <laughs> oh my God, my smile looks so different, y'all. I'm tripping out. I haven't really. I don't know. It's. It, does it sound weird to say I don't? I don't really be looking at myself like that. To say like, oh yeah, I noticed. Nah, like it's just now in the monitor. I'm realizing my smile actually looks so much more different. I'm on a liner number eight. I had to start all over at a point. I don't know, do you guys want me to do like a whole entire Invisalign video? Cause I mean, I guess I could it would be just all talking though. And I didn't record any of my dentist visits or anything like that. Ah, the angle is not working. It's not working at all. All right, babes, I'm back. I just had to go ahead and use my actual bathroom mirror to go ahead and straighten the hair. I also went ahead and used my flat comb, sorry, my hot comb, just everywhere, and it's now. Now you can't talk to me. Somebody, please just let me borrow your British accent for one day. I beg of you, like, just, just small. Just, just give me a, a sliver of it, you know? I love the magic trick this does. It's powder one minute and it's glow the next minute. It's like so cool. So all you lovers out there, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? Let me know. I think I wanna smudge out that lower. Oh, that's not what I used previously. Wait a minute, you don't even go here. It looks matte like a powder, but it's actually highlight. I don't know, it's just so magical. It's just so cool to me. Mac chestnuts. Uh, yeah, Mac Chestnut. Okay, I'm actually gonna do a mixture. Let's use the Carity Pretty Fly Liquid Lipstick. I, yeah, this is a liquid lipstick. I'm gonna use this Morphe liquid lipstick in the shade Chill. Wait, I thought this was a liquid lipstick. It's not, it's a freaking gloss. Okay, 
that's canceled that's over that was not in the plan okay i'm gonna apply more of that carroty shade back on here this is a dose of colors uh, liquid lipstick in the shade desert suede <laughs> it's looking too nude <laughs> let me go over with mac chestnut one more time <gasps> getting the results I want. There's a shade called Nudist by Official Glam Beauty. Let me put that on top and see how that goes. Uh, it's, it's pretty close to the carroty shade. Mm -mm, there's a smell coming from this. Me no likey. Okay, that kind of helped it. It's now looking a bit uniform though, where the lips are starting to match the eyes. That was unexpected, even though the plan wasn't to match, but hey, I'll take it. <laughs> I just realized <laughs> I did not put any mascara on my bottom lashes. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the outfit. This dress right here, I purchased it actually two years ago, right? And I haven't worn it since, so it's a little bit loose up top. I don't really know what's going on with it, but in all honesty, currently with the way my life, the direction my life is heading in, um, this dress is a little bit too exposed for me. And I know for some people that might be like, girl, like you're barely even showing anything. But for me, it's just a little bit too exposed. And um, I don't know, I feel like as a thicker girl, a lot of times there are things that people who are a lot smaller can get away with wearing that you might just kind of be like frowned, frowned at or looked at funny for wearing. I love the rose gold detail. I love everything about it. This dress is from, I think, Naz Collection, something like that. I don't want to say my size online. I'm so sorry. It's, it's a size something, okay? It's a size human. <laughs> The dress is a size human. And I didn't really know what I would pair this with for a Valentine's date night. Now, this would have to be like a pretty done up date night kind of situation. I have this really sparkly clutch kind of situation going on. I feel like it kind of clashes with this dress. And I also have a pretty plain nude clutch. I could not pick between the two. Now for the shoes, I kept it quite simple. Went ahead and just put on my nude sandals. I actually don't have a whole, whole ton of shoes. And thinking about it, I really don't have a whole, whole ton of clothes either. So, I mean, hey, we, we just gonna do what, what it do. So that is what this outfit is looking like. Okay, can you better, uh, get it, pop it, lock it, drop it. But yeah, that is the outfit. And that pretty much completes this video, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this. If you wanna see more videos like this, or you just wanna see more like clothes, fashion, lifestyle, whatever it is, please let me know down below in the comment section, you guys. I really do wanna put out content that you enjoy, that you will like watching, that you will feel captivated and you know engulfed by in a positive way. So just let me know whatever it is that you want me to do, let me know down below in the comment section. I, I always look through my comments, you guys. I may not be able to answer every single one of them, but I really do look through my comments. Please do follow me on Instagram. I'm at Yuki underscore y-o-u-k-e-double-y underscore you will get high quality pictures and videos on there as well as me in my goofy moments beyond just youtube all right thank you so much for hanging out with me once again i love you guys and i hope to see you in the next one lord willing stay blessed bye oh